We'll take those corners that we've just pinned and the line of pins, or if you've drawn a line, we're just going to sew directly across that line. Okay, removing the pins as you go. bit thick for my poor machine. Here we go. And then on the other side as well, do the same. Now take those corners that you've just sewn and cut close to them. Don't cut into your stitching. Other side as well. And then you can zigzag or overlock that edge. Now to do the same to the lining. We've got those boxed corners on the lining too, remember? And we're going to sew in a straight line across. And we can cut those off as we go. It's up to you whether you overlock or zigzag the edges of the lining. Um, I personally don't because they don't need to be as strong as the outer bag stretch now we're going to assemble our bag so we've got our outer bag turned the wrong way out we're going to turn that the right way out to start with push the corners out with your fingers for nice edges You see now why we did those corners at the bottom? It gives it something to sort of sit on. Okay. We're going to do the placement of the handles. So measuring in from your side seam about three and a half inches. Just place a pin there as a mark. Oh, that's not three and a half, is it? Place a pin as a marker and the same from the other side. About three and a half inches. Place a marker. And with your handles. We have the edge of one handle on this side, the edge of the other handle on this side. Now Make sure that when you're doing this that your handle's not twisted at the bottom. So it comes in a curved line, but it's not twisted. So if you pin those in place along the top edge, just pin them roughly. lined up with those markers that you put there. OK. 
Okay, you can take the markers off. And when you've put it up this way, that will be on the inside. Just check that your handle's okay, that it's right. Now, if at this point you decide that the handles are too long, you can certainly shorten them just by pinning up a bit further and then you can cut those bits off later all right just make sure that if you do that that you do the exact same on the other side or else you'll have different handles so if I measure now and I go okay two inches two inches so I've got to make sure on the other side that I do the same turn it over and measure in your three and a half from the seam again okay and of course you can use your other handles that you've already placed as a guide but they should measure up pretty well so that's three and a half there it measures up with the other handles now I can just place these so that they're almost exactly the same as the other handles because I've measured them and it's correct and pin that one in place Now when you pin them, make sure you haven't pinned through both thicknesses of the fabric so that you actually end up pinning your bag together. You don't want that, you want your bag to remain open. If you want some extra pins in there to hold those handles, you can do that. on the other side these ones are wanting to go somewhere so we'll just put some extra pins in there okay now I won't show this step but what is best to do next is to go to your machine sewing machine and sew these handles on to the edges of the bag up near the top where the um, seam isn't going to be seen, okay? I've sewn the handles on and I've removed all of the pins. Now, I'm gonna take my lining fabric and I'm not going to turn it the right way out, so it's still inside out at this point. What I wanna do is open up the top and I want to put our outer bag inside the lining bag and I want my handles to stay in this position so just pay attention to that as you're putting the bag in keep those handles down can see now that my outer bag my woven part is encased in the lining part all right what you want is for your lining seams which are easy to see to match up with your woven bag seams and we're going to start pinning that 